नमस्ते वेलकम टू साई इकोनॉमिक्स पॉइंट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट एन इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक दैट इज कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ नेशनल इनकम व्हिच इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर ऑल कॉम्पिटिटिव एग्जाम डू यू नो मोस्ट स्टूडेंट्स डायरेक्टली स्टार्ट टू स्टडी जीडीपी एंड जीएनपी कॉन्सेप्ट्स विदाउट अंडरस्टैंडिंग द फाउंडेशन ऑफ बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट्स बट रिमेंबर दैट इकोनॉमिक्स इज अ टेक्निकल सब्जेक्ट ओके एंड you would not reach very far if you try to memorize only definitions without actually understanding it right so before discussing the concepts of gdp and gnp let's first understand what is domestic territory okay for a non economic student domestic territory of a nation is understood to be the territory lying within the political frontiers of a country ओके दैट इज इंडिया मैप ओके यस इट इज राइट बट दिस डेफिनेशन इज इनकम्प्लीट बिकॉज इन नेशनल इनकम अकाउंटिंग इट इज यूज इन ए वाइडर सेंस ओके सो इन इकोनॉमिक्स डोमेस्टिक टेरिटोरी और इकोनॉमिक टेरिटोरी रेफर्स टू द जोग्राफिकल टेरिटोरी व्हिच इज एडमिनिस्ट्रेड बाय अ गवर्नमेंट विद इन व्हिच द पर्सन्स गुड्स एंड कैपिटल आर सर्कुलेटेड फ्रीली ओके एंड यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दैट इकोनॉमिक जोग्राफिकल टेरिटोरी इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द पॉलिटिकल जोग्राफिकल टेरिटोरी ओके व्हिच मींस द बाउंड्रीज ऑफ ए कंट्री ओके सो डोमेस्टिक टेरिटोरी इंक्लूड्स ओके द जोग्राफिकल जोग्राफिकल बाउंड्रीज ओके इंक्लूडिंग टेरिटोरियल वाटर्स ऑफ ए कंट्री एंड एयर स्पेस ओके सो This includes areas from Kashmir to Kanyakumari. Okay, and territorial water is the belt of coastal waters that go at twelve nautical miles from the edge of the coast. Okay, so these are the territorial waters up to that is twelve. Okay, twelve nautical miles from the edge of the okay coast. Remember. the nautical miles means this is a unit of measurement to measure the distance in water okay one nautical miles equal to 1.852 km so 12 nautical miles means 22.224 km so from this coastal belt up to 12 nautical miles this comes in our territorial water and this includes in the domestic territory of a country okay second domestic territory includes diplomatic missions like embassies and consulates of a country located abroad okay or indian embassy located in different countries is a part of our domestic territory okay for example indian embassy in washington dc russia Japan, Paris, UK, etc. Okay, included in domestic territory of India. Okay, first let's understand what is the meaning of embassy and what do you mean by consulates? Okay, embassy means permanent diplomatic mission of the government of one country in another country. Okay, it is a group of officials and they are head ambassador who represent their government in a foreign country. right and it is located in the capital of the country okay now let's discuss what is the function of embassy what it does in uh, foreign countries okay so uh, embassy represents home country abroad in all diplomatic interest and affairs as well as interest of its citizens that may be living working or visiting the host country okay and consulates means a diplomatic representative of one country to another right and or you can say consulates means a branch of an embassy that represents the home country in abroad okay and it is located in various metro and uh, tourist cities okay and its uh, uh, head is high commissioner okay high commissioner and who reports to the ambassador right uh, next is Uh, what is the function of consulates okay so uh, consulates 
it handles smaller diplomatic affairs such as issuing visas adding in trade relationships adding migrants tourists so these are the function of consulates okay hence embassies consulates are whole properties of india because they represent our country in abroad okay and a uh, part of our domestic territory okay which is fully controlled and administered administered by government of india okay so uh, hence uh, embassies consulates okay they are uh, considered as uh, domestic territory of india because uh, these are fully controlled and administered by government of uh, india so these are part of economic territory or you can say domestic territory of india okay next is uh ships aircrafts operated by residents between two or more countries okay also includes our domestic territory of india for example an air india aircraft okay flying between tokyo and paris be a part of domestic territory of india even though both the destinations are outside india okay this is includes our domestic territory okay because aircraft is a property of india okay though it provides service in outside india but there is inflow of currencies to india okay similarly indian ships operated by residents on international border or water is a part of domestic territory or economic territory okay next is fishing vessels oil natural gas rigs and floating platform okay operated by normal residents of a country in the international water or other areas where they have exclusive rights of operation okay for example fishing boats operated by indian fishermen in international water of indian ocean okay or uh, research projects undertaken by indian government in international waters of indian ocean is also a part of domestic territory of uh, india okay uh, next example is exploration of oil petroleum natural gas in the deep ocean okay is also an example of a domestic territory okay next is military or defense camps in neighbor country okay also part of our domestic territory okay military camps are vital for the reliable support and operability of a armed forces okay because the establishment of military camps in abroad enables a country to project power okay for example to conduct expeditionary warfare and thereby influence events abroad okay expeditionary warfare means military operations in abroad okay and in uh, defense camp or military camp okay soldiers get trained okay and here we can also store our uh, defense equipment okay and some important military bases that is situated outside mm -hmm. india okay are uh, displayed in the map and these are nepal bhutan maldives oman iran tajikistan sri lanka madagascar and mauritius in east africa okay and uh, these are also our part of domestic territory of uh, india because these are fully controlled and administered by the government of uh, india okay next thing is domestic territory does not include embassies of foreign countries located in india right for example japanese embassy okay usa embassy located in india is not a part of domestic territory of india because Japanese embassy located in India is a part of a domestic territory of Japan and USA embassy located in India is a part of domestic territory of USA so um, next thing is international organizations like UNO WHO okay these uh, organizations okay uh, functions in different countries right but uh, these institutions are not included in the domestic territory of uh, these countries okay and these institutions come under the domestic territory of that country where its headquarter is situated right so uh, these are the basic concepts of a domestic territory okay i hope i am making myself clear and this video will helpful 
uh, if so please like comment and share my channel thank you have a nice day